Father, I come to you with my offering of praise, this mortal's cup that has been broken and drained. With eyes of faith, I look up into your face, take hold of my heart and arrest me with your gaze. I lift up my hands to be lifted up by you. Who can satisfy the King of all with a gift? Yet here I am surrendered, your fire of love to consume. You draw me to yourself, and in your lap I sit. Oh, my mind is distracted. How can he take delight in what I bring? My Father who possesses everything. But the Creator is honored when his creation returning surrenders to his refining and his relating. I said, here I am. What would you have of me? And you enfolded me in your arms, embracing. It is enough, you whispered, that you have come. Oh, how I have longed for you, my daughter, my son. But my heart protests, surely he is unable to be here for me. When there are so many siblings buying him with their needs. Yet if one ocean is able to immerse millions in delight, then he is able to keep all, including me, as the apple of his eye. It's too good to be true. My carnal strength is this. Yet still his voice calls me, and his loving will persists. His awesome majesty corrects me to a childlike state that even in my lack I should acknowledge him that he may direct my fate. Meditation drowns out the malice of my enemy. His lie that claims I have no audience with my father king. Why hasn't this breath of life been completely severed? Because my dad is calling me into his courts with thanksgiving to enter. This time and space, this gift of the moment, of his yearning loving kindness, it is a token. As long as I have on me his blood, and in me his breath, nothing can separate me from him, neither life nor death. <laughs>